Hello all, I am Mithak from Jetwood Times and today I am here with a new video. So do you know what I am here with? Can you guess it? Okay, I am giving you 10 seconds to guess it. Till then, I will pause the video. So, your 10 seconds are over. Now, I will tell you, I will tell you what I do. So I today I have made the dual color bag. So let me show you how it works. Just a second. So now you can see the dual boom barrier. It is actually a boom barrier that is based on dual color sensors, which are two color sensors, which are in my hand. I have programmed the brain in such a way that if, if in any color sensor, red and blue, has red and blue things, is detected, then uh, the boom barrier will open for a second and then again close. So let us see how this works. Then I will show you the program. And for, before that, I'll just show you the composition of this and how it will be. It is super duper easy. I have not used any complex things. First, I have put the 12.5 rectangular plate over here. The 12.5 U beam over here. And that I have attached the motor, the axle, the, and with the 3 hole connector, I have attached the flex stick and attached. So, I have not attached the brain. I have just put it here. But be careful because sometimes if uh, this should be tight, if this moves like this, then uh, it will be a big problem because, uh, because the brain and uh, the whole model can fall down like this. And over here I am just holding the color sensor. Actually I need to put the color sensors at the front but the wire is not too, so long if I use the remote wire. Then uh, the thing that happens is that in the remote wire there is only one remote wire so it cannot be put. So I am using uh, like that. You might tell that you can do for one that that will look odd. Okay. So now let us quickly start with today's video and how it works. And guys before that if you have not subscribed my channel do subscribe it right now and please like this video and share it as much as possible. And click the bell icon. Now I am oiling the brain. Now over here the light is glowing. Then I will make you understand how this color sensor also works. So I have blue and red thing as I said. I am just keeping that over here. Just a second. I will come here. Red. And blue. Now you see the boom barrier open and close. I will show you from the front view. Yes. 3, 2, 1 and go. So this is how the boom barrier works. Now I will tell you how the color sensor works. You might be noticing right that from the color sensors some light is coming. See what does this is this for? I will tell you. Actually, you know that white is all the seven colors uh, of a rainbow. So, if whenever it hits an object, the color uh, is again, uh, the color light which is very small is again uh, uh, bounced back and came, comes here. Then the color sensor detects that it is this color. It can only detect the seven colors. And then it tells the brain, both the color sensors tells the brain that I have red or I have blue or I have blue or I have red. And the brain has programmed it in such a way that the, that the motor will move, the boom barrier will uh, open and then again close. So this is how the project works. And now I will be showing you the program. So guys, you saw that the composition of this was very easy. So I don't need to teach you how to make this model. You can use um, uh, any color if you in programming if you want. For any object of your choice if you are making red and blue thing. Okay, it's not like we need, we need to uh, use an oil uh, 
an oil bottle and a uh, spare box they will need to work nothing like that so now let me show you the program so now i'm going to show you the program so uh, now the program is basically that just a second i will show you my program declare i color and i sensor repeat while true define i color to read color sensor at port 4 and i sensor to read color sensor at port 5 and i have put if uh, if i color is equal to color blue and i sensor is equal to color red or i color is equal to color red and i sensor is equal to color blue do move motor at port 4 advanced clockwise speed high time 1000 milliseconds move motor at port 4 advanced clockwise speed high time 1000 milliseconds else move motor at port 4 advanced stop so this was my program i also have said it if it's not visible in the camera and do you know what, what which i told or what is the odd block so see over here if you in the avishka ams if you go to an option called control there you will see um, this and block is there just a second yes and, uh, uh, and block will be that we need to take that and over here we it will be arrow these two lines will be that that stands for or okay so this was all about it and this was my program and i am telling again if you have not liked the video please like it subscribe my channel click the bell button share the video bye bye have a great day see you soon and do watch my next video